Hi, this is a very short video about one setting in the engineer because I got a question from a customer. I think it could be interesting also for another users of the engineer. And the question was, what is the difference between the rendering with hardware OpenGL and with this hardware OpenGL full? What uh, influence does it have on your modeling and structure and so? My name is Ivan Beles, and I'm support engineer for STIA Engineer and Idea Statica. Now we are in a model. Uh, this is a some weird example from the past, which I have. And where you can define this OpenGL. This is in global UI settings. And here is the rendering with hardware OpenGL. Then you have the anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing is you have uh, some inclined line with an angle, not horizontal, not vertical. Then you see these steps on your screen. So, and this can be uh, a little bit uh, make made a little bit smoother. So if you don't don't have this smoothing, then you have then you go to no, none. Or the best one is this habit hardware multi sampling. But what is this hardware OpenGL? The model on your screen, if you make some rotation or zoom or pan or something else, is then copied to your graphic card and the graphic card makes then all these operations. And in the past, we have used this hardware OpenGL. Uh, hardware OpenGL had one small disadvantage is that usually it works fine, but if you select something and then you rotate, then the model is rendered on your uh, processor. And this can be a little bit slower if you have large models and maybe some older or not very powerful graphic card. And also some descriptions which are new are uh, rendered with the graphic card only uh, if you have hardware OpenGL full. So. The advantage of the hardware OpenGL in comparison to hardware OpenGL full is that if you make a selection, then you see this dashed uh, pink line. So you can adapt the thickness on the, and the length of these lines. So first, usually what I do is that uh, because these lines uh, from the model are for me too thick. And also if I create mesh and I want to see the free edges, then it's a not very good difference between the standard line and the, and the free edge of your mesh. Therefore, uh, I do it on this way. I go to color and songs and lines and the member line, the system lines of the member is so much thinner. Uh, I use them a white background, but this is not very important. So, and then if you select it, then it's a little bit better visible. And if you go to this UI settings, then you have this thickness, you can increase it and you can change also the length of the parts of this dashed line. So, but it's enough if you select it a little bit thicker and then you see it a little bit better. If you go to the OpenGL full, and you leave this setting on two, and then you click on the line, on the member, then it has not a dashed line. Then this line is a full line with this pink color. And sometimes if you have a color model with, uh, with colors from your layers or from cross sections, it's not so very good visible. And therefore I use usually this OpenGL full, because then if you also select something and also if you have some labels on your screen, then it's everything, it's rendered on your graphic card. So if you have a good graphic card, modern one, well, then uh, you uh, have a profit from this, uh, uh, from the functionality of the graphic card. And then you can select this uh, pen width for this uh, pink line a little bit thicker and then it's better visible. So it was very short, very small, only one setting. Thank you very much.